What's up guys? I have another workout for you, but if you know anything about me, you have heard me say many times that I do not like doing the same workout over and over and over again. I'm sure it's the same for you guys, or at least I want to provide you with fresh new workouts. So today we are doing cardio, combo, training. What does that mean? Basically means that I'm going to give you guys a series of combos. We're going to go through slowly. We're going to learn them and then we're going to throw them really fast, really hard to get our heart rates up. We're going to do three beginner level combos, three intermediate combos, and then three advanced combos. By the time we finish, we should have got our heart rates way up and we should have also learned some cool new combos. So you guys make sure you have some water nearby. And once you're warmed up, loosened up, let's get started. All right, guys, we have nine combos to go through today. Before we get started, give the video a like, get subscribed if you haven't already. We're gonna be starting off with a beginner combo. Once we've completed mapping it out, sort of getting it locked in our brain, we're gonna throw it 10 times fast. In between each combo, once we get it down, I want you moving. And just wait for me to give you the signal and then you can throw it fast and hard to get that heart rate up. Our first combo for today is going to be very simple. We're going to be actually using hands and feet today. I haven't been able to do that much because I've had an injury, but it's all healed up now. So now we're going to be comboing up between the hands and the feet, which is spectacular. First combo, very simple. I want to keep everything above combos of five. We are going to go jab, jab, cross, cross into a round kick. Again, not very hard, but something that we can still use at a beginner level that'll challenge you a little bit. Jab, jab, cross, cross into the skip round kick. Let's try that three times slow. Jab, jab, cross, cross, skip, follow through round kick. And again, jab, jab, cross, cross into the skip. Be very aware of what your hands are doing when you throw your round kick one more time. Jab, jab, cross, cross, into the skip. Now we're going to throw it 10 times fast. In between each combo when I'm counting them out, I want you to work on just bouncing and some defense. Then when you hear me give the count, throw it fast and hard, then get right back to moving. Let's get started. Double jab, double cross, lead leg round kick. And one. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And 10. And you should have your heart rate up just a little bit now, not loads, but just a little bit. So take a couple deep breaths, let your heart rate slow down. If you are able to get the combo down enough, especially at beginner level, throw 100% speed, 100% power into your shots, or maybe like 95, 95. But don't go sort of blah, 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 throw the round kick. I hate when I see people shadow box so light. If you're working on your technique or game planning, that's fine. Take your time. But otherwise, I don't really understand. You might as well do everything full speed. That's the way the fight is. Fight's never like this. Why are you shadow boxing like that? Fast paced shadow boxing. That's my opinion at least. All right, combo number two, still beginner level. We're gonna come, jab, hook off the same hand, cross, uppercut, hook. All right, let's do that again. Jab, hook, cross, uppercut, hook. Only hands this time. Jab, hook, cross, uppercut, hook. Let's do it one more. Jab, hook, cross, upper, hook. All right, first two off, the, off the, the lead arm, one off the back arm, and then two more off the lead arm. 10 counts, ready. And one. And then moving around, working your defense between Two, three, four, 
five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. And break. We will take about 30 seconds here. Let your heart rate rest down. Just relax. Get some water if you need it. Breathe deep. If we can recover quickly in 30 seconds, that's fantastic. Most people in kickboxing are used to the one minute break. If you can get used to the 30 seconds, the one minute becomes so long. All right, combo number three. Last one for the beginner level. Jab, cross, jab. Front kick, drop, cross, hook. Jab, cross, jab. Front kick, drop, cross, hook. Let's do that two more times. Jab, cross, jab, very simple. Rear leg front kick, as soon as it touches down, you unload with a cross and a hook. One more time. Jab, cross, jab, front kick, drop, cross, hook. 10 times. Ready? And one. Two. Three. Four. Ah, I messed that one up. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And 10. One of the reasons I really like doing long combo work, though that wasn't too long, still beginner level, but I like combo work, it makes your brain work. It makes you think while you're doing your shadow. Whereas when you're not doing any combo work, it can just be one, 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 one. There's no focus involved. I like having to implement some focus. The long combos really make you focus. When you throw them 10, times in a row, even especially when they start getting harder, if you let your brain wander off to think about something else, you forget what you were doing and you go, oh shoot, what was the combo? And you start making mistakes. That's what I did this time. I just started thinking about something else and instead of coming out with the cross, I came out with the hook. Just stay focused. All right guys, now we're moving on to intermediate combos. That means we might stretch the length of the combo a little bit or we're just gonna have harder movement from one technique to the other. Last time stuff like one, two, three, four, five, six. That's very easy. That's not hard. Or one, two, three, four, five. That all flows quite nicely. There's no oddities to the combo. It's just a very fluid, very basic combo that you should be able to learn without getting really bewildered by it. That's what we want for the beginner level combos. You just can throw it and you don't have to think too much on it. Intermediate ones, a little harder, not so much. So our first intermediate combo today is gonna be jab, cross, body hook, head hook, uppercut, hook into the head round kick. Let's run that two more times. Jab, cross, body hook, head hook, uppercut, head hook off the lead arm again into a head level round kick. And let's run that two more times just to make sure we have it down. All right, jab, cross, body, head, upper, hook into the head round kick. One more time, jab, cross, body, head, uppercut, hook, into the round kick. 10 times, try to keep the pace up, try to be fluid. Don't take a massive pause after the last hook and the head round kick. We want it to be very fluid, very quick. Ready? And one. Two. And three. You can follow through on the round kick or not. That's up to you. And four. Five. And 
six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. And a break. Just breathe deep. Catch your breath. Relax. Let's go for our next combo. I want to add in some footwork. The combo won't be necessarily much harder, but implementing footwork, footwork makes it more of an intermediate combo instead of being stationary. We're going to make sure we have room to back up. We're going to go triple jab, moving back. Cross hook, cross into a skip, lead leg round kick. Every time I count, Back it up, one, two, three, plant. One, two, three, skip round kick. The more advanced you are, the more you play around with the different levels of the round kick. It doesn't always need to be body. Do it inside low, go up to the bicep or rib cage, or up to the head. All right, let's do that one more time. You need backing up space. I shuffle back, one, two, three, cross, hook, cross, and then do my skip. 10 times, ready. And one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And 10. And we break once again. Breathe deep. Slow the heart rate. Start composing yourself for another combo. All right, our next combo, last one for intermediate, is gonna be a longer. Intermediate guys should be able to throw longer combos, but we won't make the combo overly complex or overly difficult. It'll just be lengthy. We're gonna start with a double jab up high. We're gonna cross down low. We're gonna come back to our jab. Let's run that a couple times. Double jab, cross, jab high. Double jab, low cross, jab high. One more. One, two, three, four. Once you've thrown your final jab there, I want you to fade your weight back to an inside low kick. So we come double jab, cross, jab, tap. Once we hit the inside low, what I want us to do is come right out with cross, hook, cross, and then into a skip knee. So we have double jab, cross, jab, backwards, inside low, cross, hook, cross, into a skip, and a knee. Let's run that three more times. Double jab, cross, jab, inside low, cross, hook, cross, skip your feet, change your stance, figure out your hand position, whatever you're gonna do, and then throw your knee. Again, double jab, cross, jab, inside low, cross, hook, cross, switch, knee. These combos, I'm just making them up on the spot. There's no pre-planning. Just make a combo and I go, okay, ingrain it right now, go. I don't have lengthy combos that I just throw all the time, just make them up. All right, so I'm with you guys right now. This is brand new for me. Again, double jab, cross, jab, inside low, cross, hook, cross, skip knee. Let's do one more just to get locked in there. Double jab, cross, jab, inside low, cross, hook, cross, and knee. You're gonna have to be focused on this one the whole time so you don't make mistakes. 10 times, ready? And one. Give lots of time in between. So you can take your time if you need to. And two. Started thinking about my next combo. Don't do that, focus on one. 
And three. And four. And five. Six. And seven. And nine. And ten. And there we go, guys. We've done beginner. We've done intermediate. We got advanced to come. Take a little rest. If you guys are enjoying the video, give it a like. If you haven't, get subscribed. I can do more of these videos if you let me know in the comments below. I can make sure I throw more of these together very soon. All right, guys, we're moving on to the advanced section. Again, I'm just making these up as I go, but I feel like I will give you guys some fairly difficult ones here. If you're finding they're too difficult, let's say I give you 10 punches and you're going, oh, that's too hard, I can't do it, and I'm falling behind, just shorten it up. Just do the first six or the first five or whatever feels best for you that you can keep the intensity and the pace up high. And then when we're done, you can go back and you can go through these slowly if you want, but you might as well get your heart rate up right now and treat this like a workout. All right, let's do our first one here. We are going to go jab, upper, hook, cross. Let's do that again. Jab, upper, hook, cross. One more. Jab, upper, hook, cross. Lots of hip rotation. We're gonna add on to that. This is gonna be a seven punch combo here. Jab, upper hook cross, and then from there, upper cross hook. So the jab, just think of that on its own. We just snap a jab out. Then we come upper hook cross, one, two, three, and then we come upper hook cross, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're alternating between arms. This is not advanced yet. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add in some defense and then something else after offensively to make it a hard combo. Jab, upper hook, Cross, upper, cross, hook, roll under, roll under, double cross into a left round kick up to body level. All right, let's run that again. Jab, upper, hook, cross, upper, cross, hook, roll once, roll twice, double cross into the switch round kick on the double cross. Rotate both times fully. Don't just go blip, blip, so it's just arm. Right, let's run that three more times slow. Jab, upper, hook, cross, upper, cross, hook. Roll once, roll twice, double, cross, skip the round kick. Right, number two. Jab, upper, hook, cross, upper, cross, hook, roll, roll, cross, cross, into the round kick. And one more. I'll move sideways so you guys can see me on the last one if you need to. Jab, upper, hook, cross, upper, cross, hook. Roll once, roll twice, cross, cross, into that nice long round kick to finish it off. Imagine that you hit the guy once, you hit him again on the final cross, he backs up, puts you right at that perfect length. So just try and break this one down. Think seven punches, or the way I do it is I would go like this. One, and then one, two, three, one, two, three. That's how I break stuff down in my mind. So I go one, one, two, three, one, two, three, then I roll, roll, and then those two little punches with the kick following. All right, bouncing it around. Let's get ready here. And one. And two. Think about the combo in between. Don't lose focus. And four. And five. And six. And seven. Eight.
And nine. One more. Bounce it out. Catch your breath and explode on the last one. And ten. All right. Number one of the advanced combos complete. That one's harder. Your heart rate should be higher. Assuming you made it through without lots of pauses, take a rest. Our next combo is gonna start with kicks and is gonna involve having some fakes in it, which again makes it more advanced. So just follow along for a moment. We're gonna walk you through this one. And then once we get through it and I break it down for you, you guys can try it. We, uh, let's lead with a double jab, just cause I like double jab for setting things up, right? Double jab is just a feeler. More of a, a, not a kickboxing one, we were kind of like, ah, trying to get power, you're just doing it Muay Thai style, just touch, touch, that's it. Touch, touch, throw the back leg front kick. One, two, back leg front kick. We're gonna assume it lands. Once the kick has landed, we're gonna move on from there to a fake. So we go double jab, front kick, fake the same kick, step in front, follow with the knee. When we come down to the knee, I want you to actually be in a different stance. From there, we're gonna go cross, hook, cross. We're gonna step back to get out of range. All right, again, double jab, front kick, fake, knee, step down, cross, hook, cross. And again, double jab, front kick, fake, knee, step down, cross, hook, cross from a backward stance. And again, double jab, Front kick, fake, knee, cross, hook, cross. Final one for practice, double jab, front kick, fake, knee, cross, hook, cross. Just a stance switch will throw people off a little bit here. All right, ready. You guys be sure as well to throw in, the, throw in the comments below. I don't know for these advanced combos. I was just thinking, oh, I'm gonna add another element to it. But I went, ah, what if it's too hard? So if it's too hard or too easy, let me know guys. Advanced combo, harder or easier next time, assuming you want more of this. All right, ready? One more time, double jab, front kick, fake, knee, cross hook, cross, and then step out to get your range back. 10 counts, and one. Two. And three. Four. And five. Still keeping that movement up in between. Seven. Eight. Nine. Last one and ten. And we breathe, slow, slow the heart rate up. What we're looking for in those combos is being able to memorize them and then execute them full speed, full power. If you can do that, you're ready for harder stuff. If you're thinking and struggling, this is probably good enough pace for you. We don't need to add another three or four to the end. Even if you are not, a combo fighter. If that's not your style, you more throw single, single, maybe one or two. I'm more of a combo guy. But even if you're not a combo person, it's still good to get to throw them because 
It's going to elevate your heart rate in a different way. And if you ever get to the point where you're getting pushed in some sort of fight and you're like, oh, my normal style is not working. My individual style is not working of throwing techniques. I've got to start comboing up. You want to be ready for that. You don't want to always be doing one or two combos. It's good to have a little bit of variety. The last combo for today in the advanced section is jab, cross, jab, lead leg, front kick. What we want to imagine here is what is our opponent doing? We hit them once in the front kick, they back up. Right from there, I've gone one, two, three, they move to front kick range. I throw my front kick, they move out of front kick range. I lift my knee and I slide to my tie side kick. I will do an in-depth video at some point on a tie side kick if you guys need to see what it actually is, but very fast breakdown here. I lift my leg like a normal front kick as it extends out instead of getting that range. I pivot further and I point to get more extension. I slide my foot down. Jab, cross, jab, front kick, tie side kick, cross, hook, cross. We're not done the combo yet, but let's run, run through that again. Jab, cross, jab, front kick, Tie side kick, cross hook, cross. One more time. Jab, cross, jab, front kick, tie side kick, cross hook, cross. From there, once I've thrown the cross hook, cross, bum, 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 I could go right into my round kick, but I can also slide and fake my leg. So what I do here is I just kind of pump my leg. If normally I'm in a stance where I have one foot behind the other, I just slide my feet up so they become parallel. Once I've done that and they bite on the fake, maybe they go to check, then from there I just throw the same round kick. I have found this to be very effective. People go to check the kick, they see it coming, they drop because they can't stay in that, I call it flamingo, they can't stay flamingoed, so they come up and down and then you hit them. So again, whole combo. Jab, cross, jab, front kick, tie side kick, cross, hook, cross, Sweep your right foot like you're gonna throw the right round kick. You don't, as soon as their leg drops, you give them a little pop. It's kind of like throwing a lead leg front kick or a very narrow stance front kick. You just have to get your power from a good pivot. One more time, jab, cross, jab, front kick, tie side kick, cross, hook, cross, pump the fake, follow through on the full kick. All right guys, I'll give you one more. One more practice here, then we're gonna go fast. Jab, cross, jab, front kick, tie side kick, cross, hook, cross, pump the fake, Kick through. All right, guys, here we go. Fast, 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 finish it off hard. Combo number one, ready? And one. And bounce it out. And two. And three. And four. And five. Halfway there. And six. Seven. And last one, 10. And time, guys. A little deep breath for me. Whew. Got the heart rate up nicely. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, let me know. I'd like to do more of these with you. If it's something you guys are interested in, it's a fun way to get your heart rate up, to work on getting your fight intelligence up, not only are you learning to string combos together, you're working your brain at the same time, and you're just learning what is gonna work potentially for you when you spar or fight. I know I've already said it twice in this video, but if you guys haven't, please make sure you get subscribed. Helps the channel so much. 
we're building up. It's awesome. I love all the support and all the new people who have joined the channel recently. If you guys are looking to round up this workout with something else, just check out one of the links up here. I'm not sure what I'm going to put yet. Maybe arms, maybe legs. You guys will see something just to round it out. Give you a nice full workout if you're hoping for more like that hour. Guys, thanks for joining today. Until next time, make sure you train hard and I'll see you back here soon for another video.